Hello folks, today I will show you how I craft some new handmade uh, small journals, small notebooks and uh, I started yesterday to make them and I just wanted to show you how I craft with my instruments so I want to make it uh, even and this one is ready I have one ready from yesterday and I craft these with my hemp uh, cords I, I purchased these um, from one Etsy store mm, uh, I don't remember the store but I purchased 25 colors I think they were with the shipping they were $150 for 25 colors and um, this is a pretty pretty big spool and I like the colors of these uh, you can see uh, I have other colors different colors uh, I have some spare spare pieces of, of the of the threads and I love to use these for my uh, stub bound journals and also for notebooks uh, so I have prepared here a lot of co a lot more co covers to make more journals so I plan to sell these uh, in complex like three five uh, seven nine with different pricing of course and now I'm gonna finish this one but I need to make another tie so it's a bit complicated because if one of the ends of the thread is short so I need to pull it through the hole and make the second because I want them to be strong and lasting now when I'm done with that I just cut this and what to say about these journals uh, these notebooks I have never made a small line of a line of small notebooks and I finally wanted to prepare one line with small notebooks and uh, because I love uh, the so-called fabric paper I use it from, from since couple of years I use uh, these fabric papers I make them like a glue different cardstocks that are crafting cardstocks to a piece of fabric and this makes very good foldable um, and this is long lasting uh, cover because uh, if I make only small notebooks only with the cardstock, uh, the cardstock will be teared apart uh, much faster and these notebooks can last for years because you see it's a strong decent material, it's foldable, it's a um, uh, very good material to craft, I like to craft with it and uh, how I make my notebooks, see now I'm lining them, no uh, now I have to fold it so I can line both the sides of the notebook I use my cutter my cutter knife this, uh, this is one of my best instruments uh, book binders, I think all the book, bi book binders use such knives a lot of the time and uh, of course I get my bone folder, scissors, these are very very useful when I have to these small pieces I'm gonna throw. Uh, I wanted also to tell you that all the mm, excess materials I, I try to save as much as I can from the materials so a lot of the materials are recycled 
in my neighborhood we've got uh, recycling beans, bins so I gather all the excess paper, uh, fabric, uh, of course I barely have excess paper or fabric to throw but anyway when I have to throw it I put it in the recycling, uh, re recycling bins for me this is extremely important a uh, couple of years ago um, on the second year of Exiarts I created Exiarts um, about in 2013 and about 2014 at the, at the end of the year I decided to make the my company to become an eco-friendly company uh, because uh, it has always been a very important matter for me and uh, I just once uh, told why not to use only recycled papers for all of my journals, notebooks and sketchbooks so I make my measuring uh, with my eyes I'm used to it so see you make it uh, so so it's not gonna be visible to if there is a slight difference between the holes, it's not going to be visible by the eye. Now I make the holes. So I decided back then to use only recycled papers. All the papers here that you see are 100% recycled paper. This is off-white paper made only from recycled papers. Uh, this is 80 GSM, which is... Uh, 56 LBS thickness paper. It's great for writing, uh, for sketching with pens or pencils. Also, I have some designs on my website, and I'm gonna further develop more designs with the uh, paper that is watercolor paper. This is cardstock. Uh, I've got a lot of this cardstock, so I plan to make new sketchbooks with uh, watercolor cardstocks. And I have prepared here, I'm going to make new designs here with the watercolor papers. This is going to be a long stitch journal. This is going to be a sketchbook, of course. This is going to be a refillable one with a ribbon lash down binding. I'm preparing this one with coffee papers. This is going to be the curved spine. I love this uh, design. And uh, it's going to be again a refillable one. I'm going to show you later on when it's finished, how it's gonna be looking um, and of course here I've got some other uh, this design I already have it but now I make it with another print of my art collection uh, the, it has a pocket inside of course you can put you can even put your small notebooks or like uh, like a pen or something like a palm folder of course it becomes thicker uh, it's gonna be more appropriate to put like notes here and smaller smaller pieces of uh, paper or some small objects that you would like to store uh, in your sketchbook or in your journal here is another design oh sorry guys I just uh, pushed my uh, tripod for the for the camera but it's broken so I don't use it quite a lot already that's why I use some boxes on which I put my uh, phone to make this video uh, so this is a design that you can choose your color when you order from our website you can choose your the color of uh, your binding out of 25 colors you can choose also the size and the p and the number of the pages this one also has a inside um, pocket also you can choose to customize your inside covers i offer all the basic covers like dark green light green purple pink black white all the other basic colors you can choose all my customers since 2013 have always cho chose their uh, paper for the insides of course except all the basic colors you can choose my coffee cardstock. This is the watercolor cardstock I showed you. This is a Tintoretto cardstock. It's a special watercolor paper 
made in Italy. It's acid free and it's very very good for watercolor. It's perfect for watercoloring. One of the best watercolor papers in the world you can find. Uh, thanks God we have it available in my country Bulgaria. Now I think to finish this video for it's uh, becoming too too big. So I'm gonna show you uh, my next move here with sewing this little notebook in my next video. Thank you for watching guys.